Hey, Cash with Derek here, Baker Six Clan. Today we are back in the workshop and we are gonna be building the cache. And I have a tool that I think you might like, especially if you don't have a table saw. So, let's get started. Before I get to show you the tool, I wanna tell you, the tool that I'm gonna be using, doesn't matter if you're using a jigsaw or a skill saw or rotary saw, uh, this will help you cut a straight line every time, even without a laser. And it just doesn't really matter. And any saw that you can run through this will be really great. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how, the, how I use it a little bit, and then I'll talk about the tool a little bit more. Now also, I wanna let you know, this is not sponsored at all by the company that I'm using this tool from, but I will have a link down in the description below where you can get it off of Amazon. And yes, that is an affiliate link and anything that you buy from that link uh, will help the channel. So, but let's go ahead and start cutting this out and then I'll talk about the tool here very shortly. Okay, so I've got some of those cuts done, and as you can see, those lines are really nice and straight, and the tool that I'm using is this Swanson Straight Edge. Now, I'm just using a four foot section today, but when you order the link from down below, you also get an eight, you get a total of eight foot section, and it, it's really great because it has the clip, and you just put them together, and it is eight feet, so I could actually rip this entire board from one end to the other, either four foot or eight foot. Now this is a really great tool. Now one thing you have to remember when you're doing this, don't forget that when you cut it, you have a little bit of that space between the blade and the guard or the outside of that saw. So you want to allow for that. Um, so that's where you see the measurements right here. Uh, making sure that I have allowed that measurement in there so I can get that cut right every single time. So now let's go ahead and start putting some of this together and there's gonna be some other cuts that I gotta do because I still need a top and a bottom of it. I've got the front and the back and the sides, but not the top and the back. Okay, so I've kind of put the pieces in here just to kind of get kind of a size and kind of a preview of what it's gonna look like when it gets in there. No, it's not gonna be white. That's, that looks like a hospital. And I don't want it to look like a hospital. I want it to look like a tax office. Now, the other part is I got this shelf in here and this will be going in here. And then I'll be, be able to do the bar through this piece so you can't pull the drawers out. Now, I'm not gonna show you the final product in this video because you know what? I want the CEO that is getting this to be able to see it first. But I wanted to be able to share this with you with what the build is going on and I wanted to share that tool. And I think it makes a great addition to any workshop, especially if you don't have a table saw. So if you wanna check that out, I have a link down in the description. Once again, that is an affiliate link. All right, everybody, I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for being with me. Thanks for joining me back in the workshop. I'm super excited to be back in here. So, but don't go anywhere. Go check out another one of these videos just right over here and find the story behind the cache.